I'm over here ready to be wifed though. Uh, I'm ready to fall so in love. <laughs> like I'm ready to give someone serious babies. I'm 31 today and no one is sitting across the table from me at dinner and holding my hand or telling me how beautiful I look or coming home and doing whatever it is that people do. It's unfair. It's ridiculous. No one needs to hear this, but if you have a good man in your life, hold on to him. And what I mean by a good man is not a man who's perfect, but a man who is hardworking and willing to do anything to make you happy. You know how girls love to say, oh, as soon as he stops messing with me, his life just declines. You know, I made his life so much better. I fear that that is not the case for me at all. I just checked his Instagram. He's never looked better. I'm sick. I literally am sick. I don't know. It's like he got richer. He got fitter. He got hotter. And I know I shouldn't be checking, but I'm just a girl, okay? And I wanted to see what was going on. I honestly wanted to check it and be like, yeah, your life probably is bad now. Karma, karma. And did I need karma? Because I swear, I don't want to swear. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's never looked so good in, my, in his entire life. And in my entire life. <sighs> I'm not married and I'm not where I want to be. I think it was my fault. Because when I was younger, I could have gotten with the good guys, the ones that were going to college and doing what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But instead, I got with the bad boys on the street. And um, and then now it's, it's just kind of too late because all the guys that are my age are taken, all the good ones. And all the guys that are um, the bad ones, they're just out there acting like they're 20, 30 years old. Yeah, that's true. I can't be the only one with this kind of story. About two years ago, I was in a relationship with a man. And he was about 40. I was about, what, 25, 27, something like that. <laughs> but he was willing to invest in me physically, financially, emotionally, religiously, like all aspects. He wanted to make me a better woman for him. Well, he boosted my self-esteem and my well-being so much that I thought that I could do better than him. And now fast forward, I am now post dealing with a narcissist. I now understand that not all men have your best intention at heart. Not all men will invest in you and not all men will uplift you. So when you get the opportunity to date such a man, do not let it go. I broke up with him, it was too much. He was too great. He was too great. We dated for three months. He was not a pushover. He had friends. He was cool. He was he was perfect. And he took me places and spent money on me. And he had a car and he had a bank account and he had health insurance. And he told me, if you want to be together, that's awesome. That's what I want. But if you don't, that's also okay. Um, whatever you want. And I broke up with him. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. Because that was comfortable. I broke up with him. He was too great. I went back to my ex who bought me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. Mm, I had a body like yours when I was younger. Mm, I used to be like Twiggy, you know, the supermodel. Yeah, well, everyone says I did. <laughs> yeah, but that will all go. All your body will go once you have kids and you get old. Yeah, everything starts to go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't have a body like that for the rest of your life. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you after this buzz. All right. I'm 45 and child free and I regret not having children. I'm just kidding. I'm just, there's like a small faction of you that have been waiting to hear someone say that. And I know for a brief minute that gave you a bit of a heart on. I was just messing with you a little bit. I don't regret it at all. What would our world look like without sons, brothers, fathers, husbands, and uncles? It has taken raising sons for me to realize how toxic society can be towards men. Oh, the good ones are taken. The future is female, or men need to behave, are constantly tossed around, cloaked in feminism or equality. But why is this okay? 
Simply being female doesn't make you better than a man. Men do not deserve to bear the brunt of another man's actions any more than a female. Men do not deserve to be judged by their gender, just like women. The future is female doesn't even make any sense. I'm blessed to have had quite a few good ones in my life. Role models I know my sons will learn from, but that's not to say I haven't known a few bad apples. I just don't allow those experiences to define half of the human race. My biggest regret in life is getting my tubes tied. And it's not just because I want to get pregnant again. Doctors will promise you that it's not hormonal. It is. And it's caused my hair to fall out at a very alarming rate. Weight gain and not being able to lose that weight. And let's not even get started with the fucking periods. My periods are so bad after getting this procedure done that I have to get iron infusions because I'm severely anemic because of the amount of blood I am losing during my period. My doctor's solution, getting back on birth control to control the bleeding. I made a post the other day about women wanting a good man until they get one. So I'm going to explain myself a little bit here. Now, I did not pull this information out of my ass. I didn't read it nowhere. This is what I've seen with my own eyes. I've seen women come out of bad relationships, get with a good man, a man that truly loves them for them. You know, take on their kids and all, take all they and love them, right? And they be happy as hell. At first, you know, they so glad they found a man. They so glad they found somebody who actually loves them for them. Like they, they hype, that's they man, that's they boo, that's they husband. Half of them even get married. Then, he becomes boring. All this mother do is go um, go to work and come home and go to bed. So then you go out. You get a little bit of attention from somebody who don't mean your ass no good. And you let them panties fall off. Why? Because you have gotten complacent with that good man at home. Because now he's boring. He doing too much. And that's why I say, some women want a good man until they actually get one. Hello YouTube, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So on today's episode, we have women in their 40s, 30s, talking about how they regret their life choices. After watching these videos, I realized that all these women have something in common, which is good men these women fumbled good men and they are now realizing that this is why when i hear people say good men finish last i really don't agree with them because after all it is the woman's lost if you fumble a good man or you you you, you just dump a good man just because he is good that is your loss that is not the man's loss and this video proves that exactly so this is one of the episodes where we react to some of the comments that came in in my previous videos with Without talking much, let's get straight into the comment section. Our first comment says, This is proof that women will always think there is someone better out there, even if you are perfect. Crazy. When you don't give her what she wants, she will find flaws in herself and will try her best to be with you. When you give her everything, she immediately starts seeing, searching your flaws and puts herself much above you. A man bests his ass, meets a girl, gets married and has a family. His wife gets bored, divorces him, takes his home, his kids, half of everything he has worked for and half of everything he will ever work for. Why aren't men getting married? Wow. This may sound untrue but this is the reality. This is what happens in most homes and it is. Women would rather date a bad boy instead of a good man. She loves drama or chaos instead of peace and stability. Well, I think this is so true because a lot of women on the internet be talking about boring guys and good men are boring, good men finish last. They want the guys that will bring all the drama or the chaos and it mostly doesn't end well. All right, guys, this is where I am ending today's video. Let me know your opinions on this particular video. What do you think about this? Let's get interactive in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I promise you will love it here. Stay safe out there. Bye.